the repentance of uh, a sinner and this brings much joy. The finding of one lost coin and this brings much rejoicing. So, but if you look at this, uh, the whole context of the gospel, Jesus was even uh, questioned about this. Why are you joining with sinners? The Pharisees and scribes accused Jesus of uh, being close to sinners, which is a no-no during his time. Those identified as sinners, even public sinners, you know, those who are already by the work they have, by the exposures they've been through, they are already considered sinners, and you don't stay close to them. Tax collectors are public sinners, of course. No prostitutes are public sinners, and the like. So don't stay close to them. Don't stay near them. But here, these uh, Sadducees and Pharisees see that clear. Why do this person stay close with these people? They are sinners. The rejoicement, the, 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 the happiness, the joy of the finding of the lost coin, the joy of uh, finding the lost sheep, the joy itself is God's gift. To be truly joyful is God's gift. How much more the conversion of a sinner? It is God's gift. It is God's working. Do you think it's by the effort of the person himself or herself that he or she is brought to conversion? No. Yes, we make effort, we pray, we go to confession regularly, but true conversion is God's gift. God meets us when we fall short. Many people ask me, Father, how is it to do a good confession? My only answer is, the way to do a good confession is first pray. Good confession is a fruit of authentic, real sincere prayer it's not about making a list of sins go to go uh, go to the priest and uh, enumerate those sins no true confession is a fruit of prayer because it is conversion and only god can do it only god can make one truly sorry of his or her sins. As we continue this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask that grace from God then. Conversion. We cannot do it ourselves. The finding of the lost coin and lost sheep, that is the work of the good shepherd himself. Only God can make us truly sorry, contrite, of the sins committed. Pray and pray often. Do not get tired praying because God does not also get tired of forgiving us.